Let's switch gears here. The NBA investigating allegations made against LA Clippers team and consultant Jerry West involving the free agency recruitment of Kawhi Leonard in 2019. Johnny Wilkes, a man who claims to be best friends with Kawhi's uncle Dennis Robertson. Johnny Moore. <laughs> filed a lawsuit in L.A. County Superior Court against West and the Clippers, alleging that the team consultant owns him $2.5 million in an oral agreement made for helping the Clippers sign Kawhi Leonard. The Clippers issued the following statement, quote, the lawsuit filed by Johnny Wilkes is replete with inaccuracies and the allegations are baseless. The Clippers fully cooperating with the NBA in its investigation, which is standard when these types of allegations are made. They are providing the NBA with evidence that the allegations are false. And Kawhi Leonard himself had this to say after last night's game. How well do you know Johnny Wilkes, and did he play any role in your recruitment to this team, your decision to join this team in 2019? Not at all. Um, that has nothing to do with me. You know, I'm from L.A., uh, and, uh, you know, I grew up here my whole life, and out here, you know, people try to, you know, find any way to, to get some money, so it probably won't be the last. I know a lot of people out here. <clears throat> Richard, this is not college recruiting, right? I mean, we don't usually see runners in the NBA, which is basically what this guy is alleging he was. It's weird because you want to say, okay, was this introduction done during the Toronto, when he was in Toronto, before free agency? That would be the only thing. Like, hey, I'm going to connect you. I'm going to do all of these things. But if it wasn't done during that like time period, there's nothing illegal here. This is professional sports. This is why it's done this way. No one <laughs> cares. First of all, this is an LA guy. Tell him. He don't got nothing signed from Jerry West. <laughs> like, look, hey, if I get you Kawhi 2.5, then this doesn't have any. This, legs this to is. Me. Yeah. It sounds like an AAU uh, uh, deal. Yeah. You know, like if you want my son or, my, or my nephew to come play with you, then it costs this money. That goes on an AAU. I, I know firsthand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Danny literally just said in Richard's IFB, Richard, how much did you get? <laughs> I, I, I got zero. I wasn't that good. See, like Paul, Paul was like number one player coming out as a sophomore and as a you know junior and as a, he was top you know ten I, you everywhere. Know what I got coming? I got a suit jacket. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. because that was the dress uniform with a clip on tie. Yeah, so that's I can, it. So, I can, so I, that's what I got. Yeah, Arizona, I didn't get anything. Here's what I would say from an outsider's I obviously was not on the phone with Jerry West or any of these people. I do not know what happened. I will look forward to the results of the investigation. But from an outsider's perspective, if they knew they could, quote, get Kawhi for $2.5 million, they, paid they would not that. have given up all of those draft picks for Paul George. Yeah. Right? Think about the price that they paid for Kawhi Leonard. We know the price they paid for Kawhi Leonard. It was a trade deal to the Oklahoma City Thunder that gave them their best young player and picks for the rest of eternity. Man. If all that they were going to get was, oh, this guy will get him for you, man, that, that would have been yeah. getting off late. And then, and then they have that, that, uh, the voicemail uh, as like evidence of Jerry West. And it's like, I listened to it. There's nothing there. It's saying, hey, thank you. Like, we appreciate it. And, you know, he might have said a comment about the Lakers, which was true at the time, right? I'm not going to repeat, you know, the, the show that he was saying that the Lakers were, <laughs> which was true. But there was nothing in that voicemail. So it's like, here's evidence of, like, him calling me and saying thank you. That's not evidence of $2.5 million. And so, you know, maybe there's more out there. I'm Let me ask you. So let's just say there's some legs to this. And, you know, he, he's right on what he's saying. What? Okay, the NBA investigates. Okay, so what happens now? Kawhi, the trade is null and void? No, no, no. Like, but, no, no. What, mean, they, what they do it, is... It, they remember, fine you? Remember Joe Smith? You get remember, a huge fine? Remember Joe Smith? Okay. Where he had that uh, kind of under-the-table contract yep, right, and right. fire his agent. They could penalize him, take draft away picks. draft picks, yeah. right. take away all that okay. stuff. So that's that's the penalty. Now, that was hard for Minnesota because Minnesota with KG and all them, they didn't... They weren't a free agent destination, so they really had to do it right. via draft picks. The Clippers, if they were to lose a couple of draft picks... And it would probably be after the draft picks that they were supposed that that the OKC got. So it really put them back like five or six years with draft picks, which could be detrimental. It is funny to see this phone call paraded around because it doesn't actually prove the allegations involved. But also, Baseless. it's sort of it's sort of holding up like, oh, look what Jerry West said about the Lakers. Well, Jerry West split from the Lakers is very well documented and well published. And he wasn't so lying. He wasn't lying is, at the time. That is something. That is a matter of opinion. But I will just say <laughs> that there's no scandal in the fact that Jerry West doesn't have the nicest thing to say about the Lakers these days. That is, again, a split that's been well documented. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.